Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Abru About Nothing. And this week, we're going to find out if thanks to some new Caltime editions, especially Changelings, but some other stuff as well, if it's finally time to party on, party hard, party down, whatever in standard. Can party work now? Eh, let's talk about the deck, jump into some games and find out. So, who are we inviting to our party? Well! Uh, the big payoffs for the deck. First off, Tazri Beacon of Unity draws us party stuff on the battlefield, and since it gets cheaper based on our party members, can potentially come down on the cheap really quickly, as early as turn three in our deck. Covenant Prize, insane with a full party. Tutoring and letting us cast something. CMC four or less for free. On the other hand, not great if we don't have a full party. And then Squad Commander, often one of the things we tutor up with Coveted Prize, comes in for free off Coveted Prize, makes a bunch of warriors, pumps our team, makes them indestructible when we attack, so those are our big payoffs. To make this plan work, though, we have some new additions, some old additions. One of the most important aspects of the deck is thanks to Mass Vandal, a new changeling, we now have eight two drops that are essentially all party card types, which makes it much easier to assemble a full party. And if we add in either of those two drops with any of our one drops, Archpiece of Iroa, Jespera Sentinel, which can have some explosive mana dorky starts, Wildwood Tracker, that lets us cast Tazri on turn three, and while that might sound kind of like janky and weird a three mana four six on turn three actually pretty big even in a world of elder raid cards a questing beast and bone crusher giants otherwise acquisitions expert elder fang more party members gives us some discard herald technically a warrior along with being an elf and digs to our deck to find warriors or elves which is a reasonable percentage of our deck so often draws us something with its etb while adding a party tribe to the battlefield removal one binding the old gods mostly a tutor target Mana base, it is pretty wild. We have Pathway Tribal going on, along with some Triobes, essentially trying to reduce the cost on Tazri, so we can activate it to draw cards once it's on the battlefield with the backsides of our Pathways. In the sideboard, we have some removal, we have OKM Adversary against the Gruul decks and Mono Green decks, and then we have a bunch of 4-drop Tutor targets that we can grab with Coveted Prize and hopefully play for free. Garrett, Questing Beast, Shonen of this called Toski for some card draw, Squad Commander, and that that is party time question mark is it party time i don't know that's what we're gonna find out so let's jump into our games see party time in action are the change legs and the new additions enough or is party still doomed to fail let's find out thanks for watching i hope you enjoy it and i'll be back in a bit with a wrap up <laughs> Need some new Caldive cards? Well, you can order all that you need from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com. Alright, much brew about nothing time. We are <laughs> elf partying in standard. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Huh, uh, rogue, anything, Tazri. Eh, alright. Alright, we'll try this. I mean, cheap Tazri sounds good. Uh, so Pathway and Jasper Sentinel, yeah. Opponent. I mean, Tazri coming down on turn three seems like a, seems like a thing, hopefully. All right, opponent's playing Rogues. Well, play this on white. Paragon, yeah. Uh, no attacks. Well, we'll see. Rogues also believes in playing many counter spells. Uh, opponent. We are off to a relatively fast start, though, so we'll see. Land, mills, a million Tazeries, unfortunately. And passes. Um, well, pathway on black. Tazri. Well, now we try to kill you. Get in. <laughs> All right, opponent on the 14. If they kill Tazri, it's pretty bad because they just milled all of our other Tazri's. All right, runs out, Soaring Thought Thief. Mills, mills. Yeah. To the top. Well, if our opponent doesn't have removal, we're in decent shape. If they do have removal, then who knows? Of one mind to draw some cards. Opponent goes attacking to mill some cards. 
sure. Uh, no blocks. I mean, actually, we can just play Paragon and then Coveted Prize, right? I hope. Well, Paragon. Number two. That gives us a full party. Uh, play the land on whatever green coveted prize take I think it's just squad commander yeah take squad commander play it <laughs> all right all right all right what do you say rogues here comes the dorks and uh yeah Wow. Okay. This deck can do things. This deck can really do things. Yeah, it's a full party. This is turn four? All right. <laughs> Woo! Opponent down to six, and uh, this one might be over. This one might just be over and a half. Wow. Coveted prize. <laughs> I mean... Beating up on rogues does feel pretty good, I will admit. And uh, and that felt pretty good. Uh, all right, opponent's playing rogues. Do we have anything that's... Hmm. So I guess our plan against rogues is more or less to do what we did that game, which is just out-aggro them. That is theoretically a way to beat rogues. Like, if you can just get a bunch of bodies on the battlefield, rogues can struggle with that. So, Questing Beast, no. Tusking, no. Showdown, no. Probably just Blood Chiefs, I guess. At least a couple. We don't really have anything that looks to specifically target rogues. What do we cut? Maybe, like, one Wildwood Tracker. Actually, we probably want that for our aggro starts, right? Although it doesn't get through a crab. Eh, probably something like this, I think. Kind of wouldn't mind. Yeah, maybe we get in the last Blood Chief's Thirst. For Elder Fang Disciple. Actually, maybe we keep that and go down to Vandal. Opponent doesn't really have any artifacts or enchantments to exile, so alright, let's 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 try it like that. Well, game one went amazingly well. Can we do it with rogues being on the play? We will see. Um, no? I mean, we'll keep this. Not as aggressive as last game, which is a concern. Although, we have removal. Ooh, more lands. Okay, more lands is not optimal. Land go. We had a way to kill the crab, but... All right, opponent's going to wait till turn two. Crab and land and mill. Three good cards. Well, we will. Kill the crab. A pathway on red. Go. About it. Tab land. Passes. Uh, well, land on green. Jasper Sentinel. Mass Vandal. Pass the turn. Here comes the Thought Thief. About it. Land. N more crabs. More milling. Oh, wow. Boy, those mills have hit all of our good cards. Uh, opponent. Yeah, hits us. Down to 19. Uh, well, pathway on black. Kick it. Hey, right, resolves. Grab a... Huh. Anything rogue. Anything. So we need non-rogue. I guess Archpriest. Archpriest is probably our best bet. Take Archpriest. Opponent. Alright. Has a removal spell. Untops. Yeah, we might have a hard time getting the full party of this game. And our opponent is amazingly good at milling Tazri's. 
like insanely good at milling Tazri's opponent, gets in, mills some more, hits us. Well, play Mass Vandal. Play Archpriest. Play the land on green. Coveted prize for. Hmm. Oh, this is tough. Is it just acquisitions expert? I mean, Harold's not bad either. Tazri, we have to cast, and we don't actually have the mana at the moment. Um. Yeah, let's Acquisitions Expert. Post Squad Commander into play. Make a board. Go to combat. Smack ya. Well, we will see. Opponent into this door. You're going to draw some cards. Do they have Wraths? That is the biggest question. Opponent untaps. I mean, opponent needs removal for days here. Woo! <laughs> Wow, Covetous Urge, picking up the win over Rogues pretty dominatingly. Man, maybe Party is uh, on the menu now, thanks to thanks to Keldheim. That was a pretty impressive performance against a deck that uh, is usually very annoying to play against, but wow. Yeah, I mean, they even milled well, too, but not enough, not enough. Party time. Sweet. All right. Much ado about nothing time. We are elf partying <laughs> in standard, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mulligan. Keep this mana somewhat sketchy, so we can't have black green. I guess does that mean? I guess that means we just have to put this to the bottom since we're not gonna have white mana most likely. Uh, well, pathway tracker go. I mean, so the good news is this hand hopefully can get us to a full party pretty quickly. The bad news is we don't really have a payoff for it, so we'll see. Radiant, oh boy, this is going to be Wrath Tribal, isn't it? Uh, well, play this on black. Paragon. Hit ya. Down to 20. Yeah, I think this is like the snow control deck that is just going to have like 8 or 12 wraths in it and uh whew, 8 or 12 wraths might be a challenge for this uh creature -y deck we'll see we will see opponent crawling barons spare supplies draws a card ooh coveted prize is good we'll play this on white play herald get a mass vandal smack ya down to 50 can we kill him before they wrath us that's the question i mean the good news is next turn oh we can't full party yet we're still ugh. oh it's black interesting well that still means wrath potentially extinction events about it skyclave relic I'll play this on green. Mass Vandal. No creature to exile, though. Well, I mean, this is it. We actually have the win next turn if our opponent can't Wrath here. If our opponent has Extinction Event, though, then we do not. Opponent, land, gain some life. Solemn. Okay, I think we should still be okay here. Opponent gets a land. So we get to play Mass Vandal. Uh, sure. Coveted prize. For... Wait. Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Squad Commander. Put Squad Commander into play. Go to combat. Attack you. About it. Dies. <laughs> oh, all right, that went well. 
That went well. Okay. I mean, that is exactly what the deck wants to do. Like, that is it. If you could draw out what this deck's trying to do, that is exactly what this deck is trying to do. Um, our opponent, I'm assuming, has a lot of Wraths. Maybe we want Garrick? Garrick can fight through Wrath, sort of. Questing Beast, maybe? I mean, Showdown. We probably want Showdown for card draw. We probably want Toski, actually, for card draw. And then... Do we want Garrick? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's all we need. Uh, going down, maybe like one Herald and one Tracker. Run it like that. Something like that. We didn't get to see much of our opponent's deck. It's obviously Black Artifacts Ram. So Ugin is definitely a problem. Well, all right. We'll keep this, I guess. Opponent, Radiant Fountain. Oh, oh boy. More Tazries. Might have a few more Tazries than we really want, honestly. <laughs> Opponent, Field of Ruin. Maze Mind Stone. Scries immediately to the top. Uh, we'll play this on Black, I guess, and play Paragon. All right, we're going to need a. We're going to need lands and I don't even know. Cheap party members. About it. Labyrinth. Spare supplies, draws a card. Scries was made in my tome. To the top. Uh, well, Elderfang Disciple. Make it this card. Still lacking on lands. Well, smack ya. Down to 19. Swamp and Solemn. Ooh. Getting close to the Ugin part of the game. Well... Jeez. Play this. <laughs> Pass the turn. Now, yeah. uh, boot it. Labyrinth. One, two, three, four. No, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't end with a new again. Please don't end with a new again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I'm sure Nugan's coming. Well, play. Elderfang Disciple. We're just so pitched on mana. It's killing us. Pout it. Discards. But gets to draw with the Maze Mind Stone. I mean, if Ugin comes down, we just we do just concede. There's no way we beat an Ugin. Opponent untaps. Sacks to draw. Well, no Ugin yet. Woo! Oh, Forsaken Bond, you bit. Okay, that's bad. Opponent going to go attacking. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is not going well. Yeah. Down to 16. Well, acquisitions expert. See your hand. Take the... I don't even know. Extinction event, I guess. I feel like we're losing on, like, every level, though. Opponent. Labyrinth. Skyclave relic. No kicker. Draws a card. Maze Mind's Tome goes away. But they have another one. About it. Maze Mind's Tome. Up to 27. Draws with Maze Mind's Tome. Opponent goes attacking. No blocks. Land! Alright, we do draw a land, which is nice. So we get to... Let's think about this. Play Tazri. Play this on black. Coveted prize. What are we getting, though? Now let's go Toski. Put Toski into play. Give... Paragod flying. All attack. Wow. Alright, opponent takes it down to 16. We get to draw near infinite cards. Alright, uh, we have to discard uh, Tazri and Taplad. Oh, this is the turd. Do we survive? Is there an Ugin? Is there a Wrath? If not, I think we're going to overcome this incredibly slow start, opponent. Manually tapping. Manually tapping. That's a bad sign. Eight mana. I know something that costs eight. All right. Opponent finds the Ugin, and that's the game. Well, we got off to maybe the slowest possible start, and we st and our opponent still had to top deck the Ugin to uh to get that win. So, I think that's good news. Overall, like yes, obviously we didn't win, which is sad, but we were super close. Like all things considered. 
we were really close to winning that, and our draw was as clunky as possible. Like, we were stuck on two lands for that entire game. All right, we get to play first. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're going to keep it. Pathway on green. Tracker, go. About it. Still going to need to draw lands. The age-old struggle. Swamp for our opponent. And has a Blood Chief's Thirst. Okay. Well, tap land, go. Oh, do we draw lands? Do we draw lands? Oh, please not a repeat of last game. Losing's fine, but losing to Mana Screw is brutal. All right, not a land. Play Paragod past the turn. Opponent. Labyrinth. All right. And spare supplies, sure. All right, that is a land. So we get to play this on... I guess blue... King Herald gets another Tazri. Ooh, we put a lot of coveted prizes to the bottom. Well, hit you down to 19. Opponent. Field of Ruin. And... All right, more Blood Chiefs Thirst. Well, we do draw the land, so play this on... Black Toski. Oh, it's good, draw a card. Well, so will we hit you, draw a card. Mass Vandal is actually a great draw. That is something we've been looking for, because that allows us to answer... All right, opponent's going to Extinction Event the Toski. Ooh, more lands. Okay, so play this on white. Archpriest. Tazri. Smack ya. That gives us an answer to our opponent playing Forsaken Monument in specific. Opponent, land. They better not have a second extinction event. That would be bad. Okay, Skyclave Relic. Land? Mass Vandal. So we're one short of the full party. Oh, uh, we're too short. Well, Mass Vandal. Exile Skyclave Relic. Mass Vandal. Exile Skyclave Relic. Well, I mean, if they go Land Ugin, they go Land Ugin. We can't actually actually do much about that. Hitch ya. Down to one. Oh my god. Please no. Please no. Land. Ugin. Oh my god. Wow. Well, Tazri. Play this on red. Oh boy, not like this. Oh wow. Boy, I hate Ugin. Uh, Alright, well, oh jeez. One single point of damage short. But now, I think it's close to impossible that we can win. Opponent hits Tazri. Plays a second Ugin. Yeah. All right. Well, our opponent got exactly what they needed, and that's the game. Oh, that was that was disappointing, I will say. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, well... I mean, they got exactly, exactly enough mana. I'm very curious if they top decked that land. They they very well might have, because then they did not make land drops. So they managed to kick the Skyclave. We could kill two of the tokens, and yeah, that was it. Huh. Oh. All right. Much brew about nothing time. We are trying to <laughs> throw a party in standard. <laughs> 
party hard uh, through the Elder Aids of the world. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, uh, well, I think we keep this. The tap lands slow our curve down a smidge, but... So we play this? Yeah, I mean, we got a good curve. Ooh, hmm. I mean, I guess we can play this on white. I guess we can just curve out and play... So play this on white, play this on green, play this on black, and then play the triumphs after. Yeah, all right. Well, land an Archpriest. Go. Uh, so this looks like... A... <laughs> The Dragon Go deck, the Is It Dragon Control. Usually that's what, yeah, definitely what that means. Opponent passes. Uh, more lands, unfortunately. Well, play this on green. Paragon. Go attacking. Please don't bone crusher us. Ugh. Valderain. <laughs> Hit you for one. <laughs> Pass the turn. Opponent, island, and hide something away. Well, we will play this on black, play Harald, take a Tazri, and go attacking. Down to 17. Opponent, Fabled Passage, cracks it. Snow-covered mountain. Passes. Well, uh... Play the Sentinel. Play Tazri. Two mana four six is big. Alright, opponent does have a counter. Uh, well, play the Triome. Go attacking. Opponent, go draw some cards. I mean, so we're ahead on board. The problem is, what happens once our opponent plays Dragon and then counters our second Tazri? Uh, I do not know the answer to that. I think it is that, uh, things go very poorly. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Storm's Wrath? Come on, now. In the main deck? In the main deck? Oh, no. Well, that's bad. Uh, well, we get to play... We don't get to play... Well, we will play Pathway on red. Full price of Tazri. Pass the turn. Opponent land. There's the dragon. There's the attack. There's the treasure. There's our life total. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Well, we will uh, activate Tazri. Get a sentinel and a paragon. Play the triome. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent down to seven. Archpriest of Iroas. Go. I mean, Tazri is pretty good. Is it good enough against a dragon making two mana a turn and hitting us for four? That I'm not sure. Down to 12. Opponent has a ridiculous amount of mana now. Okay, going to uh, cash it in. And a shark typhoon. And passes. Well, we will play the Sentinel. counters. Yeah. I'll play Paragon. Play Acquisitions Expert. Get rid of the last
has card in hand. Play Arch Priest of Iroa. Irona. Well, Aunt Tazri and Arch Priest. Smash ya. Opponent jumps. All right. Well, opponent's got to top deck something. Put her a taps. Is it is it party time? Is it party time? It might be party time. <laughs> Opponent. Cycle Shark Typhoon. Okay. I don't know what they're hoping to draw, though. Goes attacking, gets a treasure. Hits us. Down to eight. I mean, this doesn't stop our opponent from dying, though, unless they drew something off the Shark Typhoon. And then maybe? All right, Bone Crusher Giant. And that looks like death. Whoo, all right. Try dragging us, the party don't care. Uh, the question is, do we have anything that's... Toski seems interesting. Toski Showdown. Run a foul. Going down. One Herald. One... Eh, two Trackers. And... What? Binding's okay. Yeah, let's go down one Elder Fang. Run it like that. All right. Well, I mean, we got there in game one. <laughs> Can we keep the party going in game two? That's the question. Well, we got Toski, so life is life is interesting, at least. We'll keep. Another Tazri. Hmm. Um, so we play this on white. Ugh, we just gotta play the Triumph, don't we? Yeah, all right, play the Triumph past the turn. This does mean turn three, Tazri is off the table at the moment. Opponent, Island. And hiding something away. Well, Pathway on green. Paragon. Go. Yeah. Opponent. Ooh, gonna draw some cards. Ugh, looking for lands, I assume. Island passes. Well, play this on black. Elder Fang Disciple, make you discard. Archpriest of Iroas. Please, no Storm's Wrath. Hit you, 17. All right, no Storm's Wrath. No Storm's Wrath. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, boy, it's a Storm's Wrath. All right, that's what we wanted to not see. <laughs> Finds a land, cracks it, red source, and... Do they have it? Well, it was not Storm's Wrath. Oh, play Mass Vandal. Play the Triome. Yo. Ooh, we're pretty far behind this time. Wow, opponent's got sweepers for days, apparently. Opponent, undeps. It's another land. Well, we will uh, play Tazri. Go attacking. Hit ya. Boom. 16. Just kidding. Shark. <laughs> Not big enough to kill it, though, which is nice. But it undeps. Bad. 
bounces to Azri. Goes attacking, it's us down to 18. Well, play acquisitions, expert. Get rid of Storm's Wrath. Acquisitions expert. Pone has a absurd number of sweepers. That's uh, probably a problem. All right, kills the Mass Vandal. I'll make you discard. Oh my god, the removal. <laughs> so much removal. Opponent gets in with the shark. Hits us down to 16. Tablan. Well, I think it's uh, I think it's Totsky time. Not countering that one. <laughs> go go squirrels. You can try to counter it. We're okay with that. All right, resolves. Go to combat. Please, no sharks. All right, has a stomp. And runs out Brazen Borrower. Well, hit you, draw a card. Play the land on blue. Pass the turn. Oh, that's a fast flying clock. Eldrain returns. Ponet gets in, hits us. Hmm. Well, play Mass Vandal. Play Tazri. Opponent has more counters. Oh, so many rats and so many counters. Well, we have to attack with this one. Opponent blocks. Oh, we are pretty far behind the eight ball at the moment. Opponent gets in, hits us. Yup. And hides away something. How we will. Play Tazri. It is more counters. Well, run a foul. Hey, attack with Tazki. Bone it blocks. Oh, I think they might have countered their way through. Opponent. They got the clock going. And they've just been able to counter so much. I mean, the real issue is... Oh, boy, dragging off the tizzy. The real issue is... That, uh, that our opponent had multiple sweepers and infinite removal spells. Yeah, all right. Well, on to game three. We are on the play. Can we dodge a sweeper? Is there is there anything we can do about that? And I don't think there is, honestly. Yeah, all right. Run it back, run it back. I guess we got to hope they don't have it. But uh, it looks like our opponent has six to eight sweepers in their deck. On top of 40 counters, 40 targeted removal spells, and, uh... Handful of Eldering cards. Oh, and the dragon. The dragon. <laughs> Can't forget the dragon. All right, we're on the play. Let's see what the hand looks like. Not good. I mean, Coveted Price is our best card, but we're just never going to turn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Into the one lander. Well, yeah. Uh, so, Coveted Prize, I guess, has to go bottom. And, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And what it is is not good. Oh boy. Well, Sentinel go. Opponent. Tab land. Oh, play the land. Play Archpriest. Play Paragon. 
Pass the turn. I mean, we managed to dump our hand very quickly. Problem is, once uh, sweepers and removals start happening, which we know there's a lot of, life uh, gets sadder. So we whiff. Um, I'll play the triome. Go attacking. Opponent, down to 13. No sweeper, no sweeper, no sweeper. Land. Sweeper. And we scoop it up. Hi! Hi, hi, hi. Alright, much brew about nothing time. We are trying to party in standard uh, now that we have some new cards. And one land, no keep. Well, okay. I mean, this will keep. So, green, white, hmm. I guess Herald to the bottom. So I think our I think our hopes and dreams here are are that we can get down this Tazri on turn three and uh and hope that it's enough. That is gonna require our two one drops not dying. Planes for our opponent. Usher of the Fallen. So play this on white. Archpriest. No attacks. Opponent, Swamp, Dork, passes. Well, play this on Black, Tazri. No attacks. Opponent. I mean, a three mana four six is a, that's a real-ish card. Planes for our opponent. Fairy Guide Mother and Fairy Guide Mother. Opponent goes attacking. Hits us. Well, uh, Player Alb. Take Mass Vandal. Hits ya. Oh, do we have to stay on defense again? I think we. Hmm. Oh, those flyers. So if we attack, we're going to take a million because we can't really block anything. All right. We can't afford to lose our creatures. That's one of the weird things about this deck is we can't really afford to lose creatures because we need to keep them on the battlefield for party purposes, which is really awkward. So, like, we want to be aggressive, but then we also can't really be aggressive. Then we also can't really be aggressive because... We need to try to keep our creatures on the battlefield. We'll play a Triome. Mass Vandal. No attacks. Party is still at two thanks to that Skyclave Apparition. Oh, boy. All right. Well, Party is uh, probably at death thanks to Showdown of the Skulls. Opponent cracks. Ooh. Ooh. Well, maybe it's still not party time. <laughs> Opponent. Whisper Squad makes another flyer. It's us. Well, we gotta play Binding to kill the showdown because... If we don't, we lose instantly. So instead, we will lose slowly. <laughs> About it. Mounted. And Usher of the Fallen. And kills Tazri. Oh, dear. And, uh, yes. Well, thankfully there's still a game two. Usher of the Fallen. We draw land. We get a forest. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go to game two. <laughs> huh. Well, that did not actually party at all, that game. Uh, so... Opponent's playing 
showdown of this called? Um, ha. Huh. I mean, I guess we bring in Blood Chief's Thirst. The Wildwood Trackers seem like they're probably never going to attack. So let's uh, let's try that. Oh, I want Party to be good so desperately. I think it would just be so sweet to have a Party deck, but uh, maybe maybe we gotta wait for the D and D set, or maybe even longer. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But I don't think we're quite there yet. At least based on uh, our experience today so far. We've had some really sweet games, but as far as actually winning a match... Oh, boy. We have also had an almost infinite number of one-land openers, which is really awkward. Like, we've had one land have to mull, I think, as very close to, like, 100% of the time, which is, eh, just awkward. Opponent... All right, so we will play this on grade. Play a Sentinel, go. I mean, keeping one land's definitely risky, but we have these Sentinels to hopefully make mana. We would still really love to draw land. That would uh, that would improve this draw quite a bit. If we draw land, we can like play a two drop, play another Sentinel, and then we're in business. But opponent in the tank plays a Swamp, Whisper Squad. Uh, that is not a land. Not even close well uh, okay sentinel hit ya you opponent plays a plains passes that is also not a land uh so we will acquisitions expert make you discard well, get rid of a showdown. Which is good. Showdown is pretty busted. Opponent Whisper Squad. Untaps. Land for our opponent. Passes. Ooh, we drew a land. Uh, well, play this on blue. Play... Paragon. Play Acquisitions Expert. Make you discard. I mean, we're developing... I, we're almost have been able to empty our hand. Even despite... Being a one-lander for most of the game. Uh, we will take... I guess Murderous Rider. opponent whisper squads sure so we're getting to the point where we want a party payoff opponent skyclave apparition I'm gonna attack the party awkwardly all of our creatures are rogues at the moment uh, play king of Rald. Go dig it. Get a Tazri. Play Archpriest of Iroas. Pass the turn. These Sentinels have been going off this game. Land. And. Showdown. Yeah. Um, well, play the Triome. Play Tazri. Go to combat. Attack, attack, you. Oh, thank goodness. All right, opponent blocks. And blocks. Well, this works out because now we get to Mass Vandal with a creature in our graveyard. To get rid of the showdown. 
before it makes our opponent stuff huge. So they still get to play like Bastry's Lieutenant, but that could have been much, much worse. And now we have Tazri. We got another Herald. And now, if we can ever find like Covetous Surge, we're just like straight up in business. Opponent. I assume they just, yeah, gotta run out the Lieutenant. I mean, I guess they can also Shepherd the Flock? Bounce? Skyclave or something? Girls Whisper Silk. And? I mean, use it or lose it. Oh, yeah, now we just need, now we just need uh, the tutor. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Gonna pick up Skyclave, give us a 2-2. Two -two. Sure, passes. Hmm. Wait, play Hel Herald, I guess. Take. Yeah, there goes Coveted Prize. Take Squad Commander. Go to combat. Attack, attack. Jump time. Opponent takes it. Pathway on... Eh, black, I guess. Yo. Well, I mean, this squad commander should close it out, assuming our full party sticks. Usher the Fallen. Wow, they don't have another white source, do they? I mean, if we have full party and play this, we do, we do have them. For sure. Like, that is, that is the payoff. Opponent. Trying to figure out how to break up the party. So we have Warrior, Warrior. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue. So I guess getting rid of Archpriest is the best way to, uh, to stop the party. Hmm. Well, maybe we... Uh, Oh, play squad commander. Go to combat. Wow. Probably should have done a bit earlier, but uh, okay. Go to combat. Hmm. No attacks. Land on green. Go. All right. So we're going to try to set up for the kill next turn, I think. About it. Containment Priest, interesting. Skyglaive Apparition. Gonna hit Squad Commander. That is annoying. Land Bone Crusher. Opponent passes. Well, Tazri. Take Archpriest and uh, Cleric, Cleric. Yeah, take Elder Fang. Play Archpriest. Play Elder Fang. Make it discard. Tazri. 
smack you to five. All right. I think we're getting there. Hopefully. Showdown. Gonna desperately draw. Can they find some answers? Uh, looks like no. Land. Tapped. Clarion Spirit. Oh, so we got there. The party, the party's on. Opponent passes. Well, Mass Vandal. Get rid of the showdown. Go to combat. Tazri. Five ya. Game. Oh, okay. Well, that's the party power. It, the deck can do some really sweet things when it when it all comes together and we get to keep creatures on the battlefield. It can actually do some really sweet things. Do we want our own showdown of the Scalds? Maybe? Let's run it back. Run it back. Let's do that again. Come on, party. You can do it. You can do it. Opponent. Well, we're on the draw. Let's see what the party looks like. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, I think we keep this. This hand's explosive. We are lacking a payoff, and that's another land, unfortunately. Well, land and Sentinel. Go. We need a Tazri. We need a coveted uh, prize. Some sort of payoff. Opponent, planes. Ooh, Belki. All right, that's not great. Takes the Archpriest. Well, it takes the Sentinel. Yep. Oh, boy, more lands. Well, more lands were not at the top of our to-draw list. That's for sure. Well, play Archpriest past the turn. No attacks. All right, deck. Show us that Tazri. Please stop showing us lands. Mountain. There's a Bone Crusher Giant. Okay. Things are getting worse. About it, Bazas. Well, coveted prize, but it's looking less good now that... Now that our board has been destroyed. Well, past the turn, we can cycle one of these infinite lands. Opponent's going to turn into a Sentinel. Yeah, if our opponent can play Showdown, it's going to be very difficult to recover now. Opponent. Castle Hog Queen. And. Order of Midnight. Okay. And. Bone Crusher. Well, cycle the... Cycle the Triome. Oh, another land. Oh, my God. This is the worst. Uh, So play this on red. Coveted prize. <laughs> wow. Get a Tazri. Oh, my goodness. We're breaking land speed records uh, this game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Opponent. Oh, it's got a big scary board of Eldraine. Kaya. All right, that makes things worse. Goes attacking, no blocks. <laughs> we tutor up the Tazri, then we draw the Tazri. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, uh, sure. Hit your guy a little bit. <laughs> Opponent. I 
exiles Tazri. Oh boy, and a showdown. And that is game. Well, we'll draw one more card. It is another land, and, uh, well, we got the party of game two. Apparently, parties are, uh, only happen about 33% of the time. <laughs> so, what do we learn this week about party time in standard? And I think the big thing we learned is, uh, no, <laughs> it is still not party time in standard. Although, I don't know. Uh, overall, we went one in three in our video matches, and in all honesty, it was worse than that, because I couldn't believe the deck was actually that bad. So I played a bunch more matches and continued to lose with it. So the deck, record-wise, it didn't feel very good. It feels like party is still a bit of a flop. On the other hand, we did get to see some of the explosive things the deck can do. And in the deck's defense, we did have a lot of three-game matches. We did have a lot of close matches, but they were just not quite enough to win we had some absurd games with coveted prize coveted prize with a full party is arguably like a broken card tazri coming down on turn three that is very powerful so our deck can do really powerful things on the other hand even with the new additions like mass vandal to give us more changelings all creature types fill in the party party still has an issue and the issue with party is you really need to have at least four creatures on the battlefield to get the full party and even if if all of your creatures were changeling, it's not necessarily that easy when there's Bone Crusher Giants and there's Binding the Old Gods and there's Elspeth Conqueror's Death and there's Sweepers, all that stuff, Doom Scars, Storms are S running around. It's not all that easy to necessarily have four of any creatures stick on the battlefield. And something we saw throughout our games, a card like Coveted Prize, if we have a full party, it is absolutely absurd like it is broken it is the best tutor in the history of magic it's insane it rituals you from one mana to four mana it lets you play the thing for free it finds the best thing in your deck on the other hand if you have three party members it's pretty bad like being just one party member short makes everything much 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 worse and if you look at our deck it's not really that powerful overall like Tazri's powerful coveted prize with a full party is powerful but really Paragon, Mass Vandals, Acquisition Experts, Wild Witch Trackers. These cards are kind of okay, and they're in our deck to help us get the full party, but if we don't have the full party, they're pretty mediocre as far as standard power level. Also a little bit weird that the deck is pretty removal light, and that's something we ran into, is like, okay, we do our stuff, we play our stuff, we maybe get a fast Japera Sentinel start, where we flood the board with creatures, and then our opponent's like, love Strike Beast, and we're like, uh, okay. I guess we can block it with our Tazri, but it just kind of locks down our entire deck. So it doesn't do well with big creatures. We don't have a lot of removal to get through the big creatures. Much of our sideboard is dedicated to tutor targets, which are a little bit hit or miss in some matchups. So I don't know. I think that party... Oh, man, it's still not time. It's still not time. It's kind of like if you're a kid and you had a birthday party and you invited all your friends, but then they didn't show up. That's a little bit what this deck felt like. You're that poor kid standing there on their birthday, hoping for your friends to come knocking on the door with presents, and then you eat a whole birthday cake by yourself. Uh, that's kind of what this deck ended up being. So it's still not party time, but maybe, I don't know, Strixhaven might give us some more members. The D&D &D set will definitely give us new members. Does that get around the needing four party creatures or four of any creature on the battlefield in a removal heavy format? Eh, I don't know, but maybe it gets better. But I would say, at least for this build of party, it's not time yet. We saw the powerful things, but just not consistent enough. And the fact that if you're just one party member short, everything falls apart. Ugh, a little bit brutal. So, interesting to try. Sweet to see the explosive coveted prize games in the sweet turn three Tazri draw a bunch of card games. But really, even when we're doing those things, it just doesn't necessarily feel powerful enough or consistent enough to really be competitive in standard. But anyway, that's been party time, question mark. And uh, the question mark has been answered. No, not quite yet. And that's been our much improved for this week. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. It, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.